to to what was that like to score from the beginning. Here we go. Tui in front for France in red. Yakai for Turkey in blue. Already you can hear the fans of the home nation calling Turkey, Turkey, trying to get her fight, their fighter. The spirit to be able to overcome Tui in France. One minute 33 seconds to go. Attempt of a Chunanzuki from Tui. Far too, not too far away. But that was a better that was a better chance. But she was moving back a little bit, wasn't she? She was moving back. So. But we have a, a video review request. But there's one, one referee gift to go, uh, the flag. Yes, there was there was one move. There was one flag. Yeah. And I think what we what we're finding is that uh, if if there is a flag. He gives the coach a little bit of confidence to be able to put that up, and, and he was right to do so because he was absolutely right to uh, to put in that video review request. So Tui takes the lead at the moment, one point to zero. Yakan holding on, trying to come back in, but it's Tui who's going to get the warning from Pieko. Forty-five seconds left. Tui, France in red. Leading 1.0. You have to be careful that she's not accused of moving away, but she comes back with a, a Jananzuki. This time, none of the judges seem convinced of the score, but both coaches have asked for a video review. First the decision from a yes score to a no score. This was based on the action of the referee calling for an uncontrolled technique. So neither of the coaches now are able to use their cards again. This time we have a warning for Tui. So she's now on a Kekoku, her second level penalty. There was a fast Jona Zuki from Tui, but the coach can't put in a, a protest against that. She stepped out of the tatami. With just three seconds left, she will receive a Hansoka Chewy warning because it's within the last 10 seconds of the match. She tries a Jono kick, but it's not good enough. But, but time is up. She drops to the floor to become European champion.